This is Emily Shukba, and this isn't a criticism of uh, Emily Shukba. She's involved in geoengineering. She's been heavily involved in chemtrails and looking at climate change and um, aerosol disbursements and particles in the air and uh, electric frequency discharging uh, EMF uh, with regards to the atmosphere involved with chemtrails. What I'm about to do now is trying to contact her. There's a couple of questions I want to ask her. This isn't to Slater, but I've got some grave concerns on what she was talking about and answers to questions on the BBC regarding government and the geoengineering agenda which has been in Parliament um, in the last week or so. So um, this is the phone number that she uh, can be contacted at, which is there. So I just need to call that number. Hello, Emily Shopcraft. Hello, is that Emily? Yes, speaking. Ah, right. My, my name's Harry Rhodes. I've not um, spoken to you before. Um, the reason I'm calling is I was uh, well done on your work, by the way. I think some of the work you've done is fantastic. <laughs> um, one of the concerns I had, you, we mentioned on the um, BBC that I saw the other day, regards chemtrails and the uh, particle for the um, climate change. And right. one of my concerns is I've only learnt about this recently, um, so this isn't a criticism. But I, I can't get my head around and I can't understand why more of the general public are not aware of it. How come this has all gone ahead um, without public knowledge? I know some public knowledge has been released, but 99.9% .9 of the population don't know about chemtrails. And I find that absolutely amazing. So. Right. Why, why is that? I'm, I mean, I'm just a family man. I've got a, a family and I, I look up, I see chemtrailing. What got me into it is I've got solar panels. When the aerosol dispersion comes out, my, I go from four kilowatts to less than 700 watts. And if this is gonna continue, it's a, point, it's a pointless exercise, me spending 8,000 pound on solar panels. How long is geoengineering going to continue with regards to aerosols? Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I, I, uh, I'm completely understanding which particular thing you're, contrails you're talking about. Chemtrails, not contrails, it's a fact. It's Sorry, I didn't... aerosol particle disbursement. Oh, oh aerosols, yeah. yeah. what you're wanting me to comment on well the, the agenda moves forward with amazing enthusiasm from the powers that be um, and obviously Parliament has been notified about this I think it's they're aware of it it's it's, it, um, it's alright somebody's been trying to call me <laughs> um, Parliament is aware of it um, but the general public almost know nothing about it in fact if you mention it to somebody they'll say are you mad what are you talking about and this affects everybody in the UK. I mean, aerosol and geoengineering is spread from Scotland right down to the south and out in the Atlantic. I've seen it on satellites. Now, we may need it. This is what I'm looking at. It's not a criticism. You know, it may be desperately needed at the moment and it's probably best kept from the public. But from, from where I'm standing, there's not enough information being looked at and that was one of the questions you know about public opinion and what's what's the negative side of chemtrailing and particle aerosols I mean you obviously very qualified in that I'm not I'm a novice at things like this but um, I invent things that's my job I write patterns and invent things but um, I do understand you know the physics of it um, yeah or uh, am I talking to the right person or is it at least it starts the ball rolling anyway is there anybody else I mean is it um yeah do you have access to the internet yes yeah I've done a lot of sort of research on it on the internet and I've looked at the um the Royal Society yeah. for the uh, meteorological um surveys and also tests that have been done but yeah. so if, you, if you if you if you do a google search on um uh geoengineering 
engineering and and there's a there's a thing called um experiment earth um there's a, so if you look at that experiment earth then that's um about a public uh, discussion about geoengineering you might want to have a look at that and then you could maybe um talk to someone yes. who's been involved in that i think that would be a good place for you to start okay why why are people finding other products in the chemtrails I mean, they've, yeah, even, they've they, even they found, like, like, blood tissue and things like that. It's been amazing. If it's yeah. true, that is, you know. I mean, according to one scientist that analysed it in France, they were finding modified blood cells. Um, right. I mean, yeah, it's, they're, they're, it's worrying. Right. You think there's there a second agenda here, you know, mm -hmm. that's being kept from the public? Right. Um, I would suggest you do that Google search, because uh, I'm not really the right person to talk about, okay, about right. But do a Google search on, on, on geoengineering and experiment earth and you'll find, um, you find some things on that. Okay. okay. Um, is there anybody else that I can speak to at the Royal Society at a later date that can... Uh, oh, there was a meeting on it, wasn't there? A public meeting, I think, that was mentioned. Will there be another one coming up shortly? Um, I, I'm, very, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that, um, but because uh, uh, that's not my area. Um, but, but maybe if you look at the experiment earth uh, documents, then, then yeah. you'll be able to... Yeah. But obviously geoengineering is a going concern now. I mean, I've, I've read documents from 2009, right. and here we are five years later, and it's now going full pelt. I mean, uh, what, what I don't understand is there's a lot of sort of worried people out there that keep filming, they're sticking all these videos on YouTube and going, well, they were chemtrailing here today and all that. You know, I don't, I don't agree with hype, but people are seeing and videoing what they are seeing and not being informed about it. Right. It seems very... It seems unfair on people that are concerned and then they're told, oh, that's happening, and they go, no, 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 you're just a conspiracy theorist. And yet it's taking right. place. Yeah. Listen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let, to let you go because I need okay. to get on with some work. But, but, but do do that Google search. And I will do. Thank you very much for that. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cheers. No, right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye. So, there you go. That was a very interesting conversation. Um, this will be quite amazing to put this up on YouTube. Um, I don't understand. She's tried to avoid the, the, um, the subject and I find it quite amazing that we've proven that chemtrails are real. Geoengineering is real, but they won't come out in public. 99%, 0.9% of the population don't know about it. And yet 99.9% .9 of the population are being sprayed by chemtrails. Amazing. So um, I'll keep you updated on this. Um, keep up the work lads and uh, heads up, no fear, speak to you later.